there's any good PTs in Florida, or at least in the part where Myron is. Mm-hmm. So he should, he probably has the Wi-Fi experience by now, but he doesn't have the, like, the in-region experience that he can go to every single day. Yeah, uh, nobody's coming to mind offhand in terms of Florida PTs or Southwest Florida PTs where Myron's from. But um, either way, yeah, like you said, Reggie, the character's fairly common and you could definitely grind it out on Wi-Fi instead. Bonkai taking a lot of damage at the beginning here, but you see him take the Ivysaur out, not quite as soon as possible, but, rel- but relatively early. And yeah. it's working out so far for him. These multi-hits are great at shaking the Pikmin off and also taking advantage of the fact that a Pikmin is latched onto you because it extends your own hitboxes. Yeah, it's definitely one of the traits that you have to be aware of. You also should like know the order of when things come out for Olimar. It helps a lot. Wow, Bankai looking for the crazy up smash tech chase, but Myron just rolling away from it. Going to find a kill of his own with up throw. Such a reliable thing to have, man. A kill throw, just, oh, you're blocking, you can still die. Yeah. But oh! Hard is hard. What a setup. Bankai is a maniac, dude. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Who, who said Char- Charizard would use with this matchup? Right? <laughs> I mean, if he hits you, you're definitely in trouble. That's for sure. Myron, though, not daunted by that at all. Still maintaining a pretty good lead here. Fighting yeah. off the Ivy Sir better than before, for sure. Yeah, and this is what I like about Myron's gameplay. Really aggressive and in your face. He will not let up with these pink wings. Yeah, people tend to think, you know, oh, Olimar's got good projectiles. He must be a keep away character. But he can use them to assist his rush down and up close game pretty well. Myron definitely falling into the more aggressive category. Yeah. And we see double purple right there. What's good about purple, at least, it does not latch onto you, but it does do a lot of shield damage. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by the Pikmin that knocks you away either, you know? It's like the yeah. Fox versus Falco laser. Oh, and Bonkai activating his lag switch. Yeah. Ooh, call nice, call nice stock and calls there. Ooh. All right, so we're back into radio mode, guys. We've got Bonkai down a stock, 3%. Myron at 97 off the stage, right side recovering. Bonkai looking for the charge forward smash, and Myron gets up right into it. And he charged up for a day, man. So we got, we got the little jab jabs to the center stage. Let's see what happens. Using there to get all protection from him. Wait for Bonkai to know that he can do that as an op. The jab off? Yeah, that's not quite good. Devastating finish there for Myron. Yeah. All right. We're going to see him go up game one. Bonkai in a position where, you know, he could switch to zero suit. I think PT is still just the better call on paper. Yeah. But it depends how much that loss shook him there. He should probably choose a slightly bigger stage, I think. Just so he's not smothered by Myron. Myron likes to play up close. So force Myron to, put, like, run at you. Because it's definitely not his way he wants to play. Players going yeah. back and forth about their counter picks, I'm sure. Yeah. I think Bonkai was doing fine for most of the match, honestly. It's just when Myron got started, it was so hard to stop him. And PT, I'd say Squirtle has like a decent get off me game, but Ivysaur and Charizard definitely don't. So it can be really easy to overwhelm them. I like the idea that Myron had just kind of going like full on aggro in his face when he could and also taking important breaks in the pressure just to take advantage of the fact that he had purples in his army or get some of that residual damage. So big props to him just figuring it out, keeping his head on straight throughout the game. Yeah, it looks like we're starting up right now. Oh, I don't know what the wait is for.
And if you're just tuning in right now, this is Fight for Your Rights. Um, this is Myron versus Bonkai. Myron is up 1-0. And we are seeing the ZSS. All right. Here it is. The character switch. I don't know if I like this. I think ZSS struggles against short characters, but she's also just so explosive. You know, if she hits you, especially against a light character, you're going to melt. See if Bonkai yeah. is able to take the uh, height of his opponent's character into consideration and, you know, still let his pressure be strong. So far, it hasn't been a problem for him. He's gotten a lot of these low Zares. Nair, of course, angled a little bit downward in the way the hitbox is, so that makes it possible for her to rush him down with it. Yeah, and he also did main this character through the entirety of Smash 4. Yep. So, he is not, he should be a least first in like playing against some small characters. Yeah, for sure. Olimar himself, a little bit of a tricky fight, but, you know, we'll see if his knowledge of Debuzz and just all the Olimars he may have fought over the course of Smash 4 and this game can come into play and just turn something that might be less good on paper into something that works out for him. So far, it's been pretty even, especially given the relative kill power here, but, I mean, Bonkai is definitely super dead to an up smash. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, landing on top of him is not the move, especially when you have two, two Moniques right there. We got Myron just building such a strong lead here, throwing the purples, keeping both of them in his army. I mean, we could realistically see another really early stock by way of purple up smash at this point. Yeah, and he's opting to keep them, not even like trying to draw them to get like faster on recovery. Yeah, I feel like he'll probably just deal with that when he is off the stage. And the side B gonna come through for Bonkai, to save him from potentially going down two stocks. And that's the trouble. ZSS, if she's not in range for up B out of shield, she doesn't have the best out of shield game. Slow grab, a lot of aerials that hit high when they're rising and will go over Olimar's head. Yeah. Oh! Oh! But I'm also the ability to take a stock at any time. Yeah, that's the strongest suit of ZSS. And fair out of shield. That's SSS, baby. Strong suit Samus. <laughs> Oh, bouncing off his head. Okay, Bankai was fine either way there, but that just made him extra safe to get back to the stage. Gonna use those Zares to fight the Pikmin off. I like that. But Myron just still looking okay with the situation here. He took a lot of damage, but he managed to get back on stage. At yeah. least at the... Oh, wow. And the up throw gonna be the killing blow there. Yeah, and Bankai is just looking for whenever Myron jumps and just to take advantage of it. I'll miss it. Let's the punish right there. Bonkai just eager for these up Bs every time he comes back from the Angel platform. He knows he's going to be punishable on the way down, but just trying to pop that quick kill immediately. Oh. I like the little wave land right there. That was really cute. Okay, Bonkai barely getting away from that one. Gets the berry into up B, but this is still certainly not his game to win right now. It's definitely not. Myron had such an advantage here. Up smash it from any Pikmin that isn't white or maybe yellow will probably do the trick. Oh, yeah, yeah that short character model is just such a thorn in the side of Zero Suit Samus. She doesn't really have a good move that comes out quickly and hits low like that. So we're going to see my man Myron just no hesitation. Knew that was going to whiff. Let it go over his head and then pop her. All right. Let's take a look at the bracket while I pull it up. And that was, that was Myron 2-0. Oh, okay, lose his side. Uh, yeah, helper, I got you, man. Um, I'm typing right now, but, uh, also, guys, uh, thank you again for, for supporting the House of 3000 stream. Just want to shout these guys out. Absolutely amazing production team. Um, they've done so many of my own tournaments, even. And it, I love seeing you guys, you know, getting involved with this tournament because it's obviously a great thing that it's even happening. All right. So it seems like we have the winner of Stretch and Uncivil Ninja. Uncivil Ninja. Faces Wasabi. Ooh, okay. Some more Wasabi action. 